The Hours, a film directed by Stephen Daldry, adapted from the novel The Hours, written by Michael Cunningham, which in turn was inspired by Virginia Woolf's life and her novel Mrs. Dalloway. During an interview at the Prague Writers' Festival, Michael Cunningham opens up about The Hours. Quote, It's about people's desire to find a way to live with each other intimately without destroying one another in the process. This concept goes beyond the story Michael wrote. As humans, it is ingrained deep within us a desire to connect. What happens when that desire is no longer present? When the will to go on and live another day is unbearable and buried beneath the heavy burden of suffering, that one thing we share is existing in time and space, together, yet apart from one another. Let's take a look at the use of time and space of the hours and how Stephen Daldry's use of sound and editing create an elegant flow bringing unity between the characters that never meet but are still connected. Mrs. Dalloway said she would buy the flowers herself. Mrs. Dalloway said she would buy the flowers herself. Sally, I think I'll buy the flowers myself. What? What flowers? <sighs> Shit. Now we rewind the sequence to see it again. If we listen, we hear the environment and the movement of the characters. The story up until this point tells us the characters are connected only through the use of editing and the movement they express. Daldry uses a slow build of anticipation from long focal shot, slowly shortening the length of the cut and closing the distance between the camera and the character. In this specific sequence, the women are connected in unity through a single phrase. Mrs. Dalloway said she would buy the flowers herself. Mrs. Dalloway said she would buy the flowers herself. Sally, I think I'll buy the flowers myself. They are connected through objects and sound that tie in the space between time of each character. When you consider things like the stars, our affairs don't seem to matter very much, do they? 